Hi, my name is Shane and I'm a Dyson expert. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining the different light modes that you have on the Dyson Link app when connected to your Light Cycle Morph. So once you've downloaded the app and connected your machine to us, when you open up the app, it's going to give you an overview here. So we can turn on our Light Cycle and then down at the bottom here, you'll see this icon with the circles in it. By clicking on that there, it's going to give you an overview of all the different light modes that you have for your light cycle. So the first one here is synchronized mode. So by activating that, it's going to provide a brightness and a color temperature that syncs up to your location's natural daylight. This is going to automatically adapt and adjust throughout the day to provide the optimal lighting conditions. So generally, generally in the evening time, it's going to be kind of eliminating a lot of that blue light to help you relax and unwind. So that will automatically change throughout the day. We do have a video that goes further in depth into how the light cycle morph tracks natural daylight. So I do recommend having a look at that for more detailed information. The next mode that we have is study mode. So by activating that, it's going to provide the optimal lighting conditions for studying, be that reading or writing. So during the day, it's going to provide more neutral white lights and then introducing warmer tones in the evening time. This is designed to help reduce eye strain and eye fatigue from looking at books or from writing all day. The next mode that we have is our relax mode. So by activating that, it's going to provide a collection of warm colours with a neutral brightness to help you relax and unwind. This lighting mode is particularly nice to use when you are using your light cycle in for ambient lights or for indirect lighting as well to help create a nice softer, warmer glow within the room. The relax mode will also still provide enough light for tasks like reading as well. So if you're sitting on the couch in the evening time, and you want to read a book, it's going to still provide enough light to do that. And then the last lighting mode that we have is our precision mode here. So this is going to provide a high intensity light that's really great for detail oriented tasks. So if you're working on a project like an art project or you're building something where you really need that intense light to help you focus and hone in on the fine details, the precision lighting mode is going to provide exactly that light that you're going to need. That's a quick overview of all the different lighting modes that you have on the Dyson Link app. For more information, see Dyson.ie or leave a comment down below using the hashtag Ask a Dyson Expert.